It's uh, 7 in the morning, guys. Just want to show you my uh, tomato plants. They got in, uh, quite a uh, bit. They got some uh, tomatoes on there, big ones. Some over uh, over there, green ones. You can see them there. It's a red one there. Whenever they turn red, even if they're not quite that ripe, I eat them. There's uh, one over here somewhere. There's that big one there, you can see it. One right there. They do smell good. I just love the smell of the plants and there's some over there. I'm trying to determine what I want to do first, guys. Hi guys, Bleach here. Um starting the video now. The exception tomato plants. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I want to pull this thing apart. I want to put the deck on the one I mainly use and um the engine that's under that plastic bag. Um, I think the middle chain case is broke on this. So I just want to pull the parts off of it for now, the deck, because I can use it until I can fix it, the rear end, if it's fixable. If it's beyond my know-how to fix, I'm not going to do it, guys. Sorry. Although I could probably do it, but it's just tedious to do. And I'm not really an expert on that. I can do other things, but there's certain things I won't do, guys. It's from the big one. The big deck is going on uh, this one right here. This engine here is going on this Comet. So right now, we're taking that engine off there, putting this engine on that Comet, making it go. And then when I get time, I'm going to split this engine apart right there, that 12 horsepower Briggs. Um, fix the governor inside the engine if I can, and uh, put it on this one that's buried and fix the deck. So there's things that could happen so let's get a fast-paced video on here and see what happens guys I don't know where my tripod is uh oh I forgot to mention guys the clip uh, the turns on the deck so I forgot to mention the clip that turns this deck on that holds it on is broke someone welded it for me and it hold up so this deck's no longer any good. I could take the parts off of it, probably put it on the original deck. I may do that in the future. Right now, I'm taking the deck and the engine off of it, guys. Top it all off, guys. My back is spazzing. And the other batteries died, so I only got one set. I'm on my new set. My friends always feel the need to tell me things Seems like they're just happier than us these days These days I don't know how to talk to you I don't know how to be there when you need me It feels like the only time you see me Is when you turn your head to the side and look at me differently mm -hmm. And last night I think I lost my patience last night I got high as the expectations last night I came to a realization And I hope you can take it I hope you can take it all oh, I feel good to you I'm way too good to you You take my love for granted I just don't understand it No, I'm too good to you I'm way too good to you You take my love for granted I just don't understand it No, I found myself getting lost with you Lately you just made me work too hard for you Got me on flight of seas and I still can't get across to you Oh, last night I think I lost my patience last night I got highs in expectations last night I came to realization And I hope you can take it But oh, baby, don't get it twisted you was just another player on a hit list Trying to
molded really well. Just look onto it.
I got this one out. We're putting that engine. It's right there. This freaking tripod would work. Right there. I sucked away onto this one and making it run. It's going to jump it now with my jump pack and worry about wiring it later. does run it just doesn't govern off so I have to crack it apart and fix it I got an oil um, crankcase seal for it I think she looks good like that camera just beeped awesome it still works beeping 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 now it's like this guys I had to remove the carburetor I put it over here but the carburetor had bolts back in there and the cover's there, and the screw's in that box right there, I believe. Um, because I couldn't get to one of the head bolts, or not the head bolt, the uh, mounting bolt, guys. I haven't been filming further, guys. The uh, engine's off of it. It's, uh, I can't really see it, but it's over there. You can see it. It's right by the toolbox, I think, right in that corner there. Oh, we gotta put uh, that one on the left by the John Deere on it. If you listen closely, you can hear the radio and my mother sweeping. If you notice right there, that's from the purple snapper that went on to here. And I took the other one off there to mount a uh, normal gas tank on there. Because this didn't have a gas tank side mount with it. It had a 5 horsepower Briggs on it that wouldn't run. And it had a bunch of oil and crud in the gas tank. It's got purple and it says it got snapper. So, really cool. I just love how it looks like it's puking purple. Set the carburetor bowl off there, guys, just to be safe and look at it. It's messed up. It's better, guys. I ran out of car cleaner and I used Walmart lubricant. Snazzy. Bring this washer on there to try and stop the leak. Also, um, it doesn't seem to screw tight really well. I'm putting on some uh, thread locker, guys. Hopefully, it'll stop it from leaking. See that hole there. You see it there. It's missing that rubber hoop thing. It's nothing I did. Could be why it's leaking, guys. I'll look into that if it still leaks in the future. I eliminated the washer, guys. It made it tighten in there better. I don't know if it was a good idea to use thread locker on that or not, but it's tight. Had to take the got stamper cover off because it wouldn't clear the carburetor. So with the got stamper gas tank mount not cover it's going to have to set right on top of this had to take the god stamper purple gas tank um, holder mount off because I couldn't mop the, mount the engine mop I want to clear it so the gas tank mounts gonna have to sit right onto the uh, cover guys the breather cover I don't know if you can see that but that's really tricky you have to feed that right under those belt keepers underneath the pulley. It, it's a different kind of type of uh, snapper. They made it harder back in the early uh, 60s. I got it together, guys. Really out of breath and out of shape. It's together. Gas tanks on it just needs to be wired. With the exception of the handle. I got one done. I gotta uh, complete this one sometime next week or maybe another two weeks just give myself a break from this guys 
there you go. Fall over this mower right there, this craftsman. Um, yeah, there you go, just fall over mowers, bleaches. But, um, yeah, we'll, uh, mow with this and see how it does and do a video. I'm going to let you guys go. Please comment, subscribe. One thing I worry about, I put a clamp on the gas hose because it was in a bad spot. And the gas will just pull right out of there with the gas hose detention. But I pulled in the gas hose pretty hard and with force. So it should be together. Oh, blurry. She's where she should be, guys. But I'm going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. See you guys. Greasy piece. Just look at all the grease. Oh, yeah. Greasy, greasy. And more sweaty, greasy, sweaty, greasy. Anyways, bye, guys. Just kidding.